Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for July 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th, Monday through Thursday. Now, you know that when I'm reading for the week, I am using my two Radley Valentine decks. I use my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main reading. I'll pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I will also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job, just deliver the message. Any cards that come up reversed, remember those are, you know, basically a little bit more oomph, a little more emphasis, so we want to pay a little more attention to that also. Um, many times over, I will speak about you know, higher power, that is higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, the divine, your source, whoever that is to you, okay? Now, I have been in the last couple of times put, picking up a little bit more, picking up, I have been pulling a few from my weight rider, more, that's more of a traditional tarot, and okay, so we actually have three cards that are down, or actually they flipped out. Now, Interesting energy here. Remember, these have the stronger energies. So the first card, and this is a general overview of what the week is going to look like. Remember, in the longer readings, when I do my Cancer season overview, I did talk about how the first, or actually June 30th through the 10th, was going to be a little more stressful. And stressful can be in a good way. It could also be in a bad way. People's emotions are going to be a little bit, uh, they're going to be more uh, vocal. There is a lot of Leo energy um, kind of stirring the pot. Now, first card, again, this one is reversed. This one is the five of pentacles. So pentacles is our earth energy. It is our Virgo. It is our Capricorn. It is our Taurus. It's how we spend our money. It is our home. It is how we receive our money. It is our job. It is our career. So right now, this week could be a little bit stressful with money, you know, kind of feeling like, where is it coming from? Where is it coming from? Oh my goodness, where is it coming from? So in the universal type of energy, there could be some money issues happening, talking about money, just having some ups and downs with money for this week. Now, it could affect you, it could affect, it might not affect you, but it could be affecting the other people and around you. And when money is an issue, and I'm not saying that this is an issue as much as it is an illusion of an issue, okay? Because we still have that, um, what is it, the Saturn with the Aquarius and, you know, the illusion versus reality. So there could be a major illusion about money issue. So stay calm, be careful with this time, watch your money. Anyway, because then we come to the Queen of Swords. And again, that one is... I'm sorry, yeah, the Queen of Swords. That one is reversed also, so there's really a strong message with this. Now, Queen's energy, the underlying energy is cups, and that is water energy. That's fluid, that's emotional, that's our Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We are in Cancer season now. But Swords in itself is air energy. That is our, um, <laughs> that is our Gemini, our Libra it is also our Aquarius energy. And remember, we do have a lot of Aquarius energy roaming around right now. That's our thought process is making some plans. So the queen in itself, you know, has that emotional connection, that emotional, I want to make things right. But the, queen, but the queen of swords also has that, let's see what we have to do to make it right. Let's be a little more objective. The queen is also, if you notice in this card, the queen is also allowing. There's some things, you know, I'm kind of getting from her hand, like, okay, speak. I'm allowing you. Let's see what's going to happen. I kind of feel like the queen is allowing some thoughts, some some directions with something that's very, very, an emo a very emotional area. Now, that could be our, you know, our pentacles. That could be our money situation. But the queen is also saying, go forth now. It's, you know, don't, don't stay in this... Um, don't stay in this negativity. Let's be a little bit clearer headed. Let's see what's happening. Let's move forward, okay? So the Queen of Swords, at least what I'm picking up right now, is actually 
kind of, you know, and I also feel like her, like her in this right now, her, um, her sitting is kind of relaxed. I don't feel like she's very stressed. I feel like she's like, things are moving. Don't worry about it. Very objective type of energy, but there's also caring. Now we come to the seven of pentacles. Pentacles is again, earth energy. It's the same energy. Again, it's that money energy. It's that home energy. Sevens have an interesting energy in itself, though. Sevens have that divine energy. I look at, you know, sevens is a divine number. It's a perfect number. I call that the divine umbrella. What we do down here on the earth, uh, in the natural, it, that something in the supernatural, so what we do in the physical, the metaphysical is kind of watching over us. And it's also, so there's a lot of metaphysical and supernatural type of energy here. Again, this has to do with our money. But again, this is preparing. This is making. This is, you know, so while we start with this worrying about money, it's also we have prepared for this time. The universe, I should say the universe, the supernatural has prepared, and a lot of people's money issues will be taken care of because there has been a preparation for that. Okay, so now, so we've had, you know, so what we've talked about, and I won't talk about it, hopefully in the readings, but we've talked about pentacles, we've talked about um, air energy, and we've talked about cancer, I mean in water energy, and again that earth energy. The one energy we didn't talk about is fire energy. But this is a time when we are going to have a lot of Leo energy. So fire energy is our Leo, Sagittarius, and our Aries. It's passionate, it's very burning, it's very, very determined. And the Leo energy is very connected with the sun, and the sun is a spotlight. The sun, you know, nothing, you know, nothing um, can escape the sun. The sun is a natural healer also. It's a natural disinfectant. So it's kind of like it has to be, something has to be exposed in order for it to be cleaned up. So, but again, it's not necessarily going to be an easy process because there is going to be stress with this time. Again, that's going to be that June 30th through that um, July 10th. Now, interesting, just as an aside, and I'll talk more about this when we talk, you know, when Leo season comes on the 23rd, there's going to be a lot of movement that's going to be, um, that Leo is going to be opposing. So there's going to be even more, even though we're in Leo season, when we go into Leo season, Leo, the sun energy, will be opposing a lot of that. Also, too, just as, a, and again, just as an FYI, there will be two full moons in Aquarius during Leo season. So Leo season, I think, is going to be really a breakthrough season for us. But for this week, you know, money, there, you know, peop, there's going to be some, and this is more on that universal global, there's going to be some money issues, money talked about, money, oh my gosh, where's the money going, are we getting money, the queen of swords is saying not to, not to worry about it, there is something that's higher, that's happening, that's watching over, and that's actually very confirmed with that seven of pentacles, that there is a supernatural energy that's going to be very protective, over a lot of the things that we need. And yes, we need, you know, we're, we're the happiest when we have our base needs met. When we have a roof over our head, we've got money in our pockets, you know, at least for our needs, and we've got food in our bellies. So this week, while it's going to be stressful, it's not going to be, I mean, it's, it's going to be stressful more as we live through it than in that overview, okay? So just, you know, we'll get through this together and actually, I think that for us, that things are going to be much better. We're going to have a better awareness of what's going on. And because we have that better awareness, you know, it, it's just going to slide right off of us. Okay, so right now, let's start our readings. Hello, my Libras. How are you? I hope you're doing great. Be interesting, interesting week for all involved. Here we go. Oh, my Libras. You do know how to push buttons. <laughs> and then you step back and just watch what happens. I like that. I like that. And nobody thinks that it was Libra. Here we go. One, two, three. But we all have to get our fun somehow, right? And that that's push the button. Watch what happens. Okay, so my Libras, let's see what we do. 
this one's reversed. First card. Two of Gabriel. So it's some decisions. Twos have the crossroad energy. Do I go this way? Do I go that way? Gabriel is our fire energy. And remember, all that Leo energy pushing people forward, making things kind of, I kind of feel like you moving them out of your way, actually. So any decisions will be like, who do I move out of my way? Who do I move out of my way so I can go down the path I'm choosing? So I, that's where I'm feeling. It's move out of my way. Um, Gabriel is our fire energy. Like I said, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, passionate, burning, determined. And again, it's like, you can go step over there. And there's a lot of, and again, maybe this is your pressing the button and they go there on their own accord. Or maybe you have to gently move them off your path. Because it's kind of like there's some blockage here and it's like, nope, not accepting this anymore. Now, there is a lot of um, boldness with the two of Gabriel. There is a little bit of stepping out of character with the two of Gabriel. But it's going to actually, again, it's like, get out of my way. Okay. Make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. And that, the sharing of your vision, I really like that energy because it's like, you know, it, it's again, it's the people that are in your way are not sharing that vision. Again, it's kind of like gently but firmly move out of my way. Okay, I know. Come on, let's move on to the next card. Next card. Reversed, the Knight of Raphael. So Knight's under energy, the underlying energy is fire energy. Raphael is water energy. It is our Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid, emotional. It's very, you know, knights are directional. So not only is the passion there, the knights wanting to do this. Again, this is that move out of my way because I'm coming through energy. There's an emotional commitment with this. There is also, again, when I, when I got the, you know, um, important relationships with people who share your vision, and then we have this next to it. There is this connection with somebody that shares your vision that wants what you want. Somebody that will be encouraging you to move that direction, to move forward with this. Again, it's, again, whoever's, whoever, whatever is blocking you, again, it's this move out of my way type of energy. I know. Okay. It keeps coming through. Who needed to hear that? Hear it. Romantic, dramatic, poetic, introspective. Committed romantic relationships, being swept off your feet, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. Oh, I like that. Now, we remember, relationships can be some things. Be your work, job, career, you know, because that can be very committed. It could be intimate, personal, interpersonal. It could be family or home. So it's whatever this is. It's, again, I do feel like there's somebody that's helping you or there is something that's joining with you to push this forward. So I do think that that has a good support system. Anyway, next card, decision. Okay, so we have a 215 or we have a 215. So, you know, again, to the uh, angels have been speaking very loudly through a lot of numbers. I would say that this is something. Put 215 into a search engine, put, you know, and then type in angel numbers after and see what this might be. Archangel Jophiel, and I do feel that Jophiel is going to be a guide to help you through. It's kind of like um, if you go into, you know, if you if you need if you're going to tour something and you and you hire a guide, or a guide says I will be I will be showing you the sites. I feel like Jophiel is going to be showing you the the direction to go. So, besides higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, your voice of the universe, your divine, your source. Ask our Archangel Jophiel for guidance with this, okay? Decisions, positive, negative, could be, you know, either one. They're a little bit on the stressful side. A 15 has that 1 or 10 energy. 1's new beginning, 10 transition. 5's change energy. Change, change, change. So there's some things that you want to change. And again, you're going to, not always an easy change, but it does look like you've got some support during this change. Um, again, you know, I know, move out of my way. Here we go. Release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox. Unnecessary worry based upon, I mean, sorry, based on a lack of self-confidence. Yeah, we always second guess ourselves. And being an air sign, you're going to second guess yourself because one of it is you want that balance. You like balance. And sometimes, you know, whatever or whoever's blocking, 
um, you know, some that's right now part of your balance. That's part of your energy. And so to have that move, it's not it's not an easy it's it's an it's not an easy challenge for you. It's not an easy challenge. Anyway, let's go on and see one last card and see what we have here. Ace of Fire. So we have that one energy again. One new beginnings, new start. Fire energy is this Gabriel energy. And remember all of this Leo energy going on around. There has, there's a new passion. There's something you really want to go after. And it looks like the energies are, are getting set up for you to go after that. Again, get out of my way. Get out of my way. Here we are. An exciting new opportunity. So that could be any of those relationships I talk about. This one does say career advancement. Change your life now. So things are changing for you. Let's see what crystal or energy for my Libras that would be helpful during these changes. The Knight of Water is, or the Knight of Raphael is, you know, it is very direct type of energy there. Okay. Earth. Earth energy. So you've been, you know, your kind of heads are up in the cloud a little bit. You know, you're the air energy. Come back down to earth. Does that mean you pack up a little earth in a baggie? It could even be that. Go walk outside if it's not too cold. Um, you know, get your feet, you know, feet in that earth. Anyway, earth energy is all about abundance, fertility, harvesting, and logic. So this is going to be an interesting week for you. Um, like I said, you do. There are some buttons that you do like to push, and you stand. You know, you step back, and you watch to see what happens. Uh, it's kind of like you throwing the stone, in, you know, like the still water throwing a stone and watching the ripple effect happen. I can I can appreciate that, my Libras. Anyway, remember the button. Please like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. As always, the most important thing for you to know, my Libras, know you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.